Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this, yeah? Yeah. All right, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra for this time period of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so, so much. All right, Libra. So I do remember your, the title of your video for the first half of the month, and it was You Found Yourself, which is great. So let's see how this is going for you. Let's see what's coming through for you for the second half of the month. One more shuffle for you, Libra, and then I'll cut the deck and we'll see what we've got going on. Okay. Boop, boop. All right. So for you, Libra, we're starting off with the overall energy of woof, the sun. So yeah, you really have found yourself, haven't you? And things are going very well. And I'm feeling like for those of you who, who are like the sun, like things are not going well. Yes, they are. Now, this is only for a very small number of you because the sun is upright. So for the most part, everybody, you're like, yes, no, this is great. Things are going very, very well. The sun is shining on you. Life is illuminated. We've got the king of cups. Hello. So there could be... Either you, Libra, are feeling you're standing in your King of Cups power, you're emotionally stable, you are ready to go. This could have to do with love. This could also have to do with um, anything that you're, this could have to do with career, is what I just did here, career. Um, but uh, it's anything that is emotionally fulfilling for you. You are standing in your power and you are ready to take action. And we have the hanged man. Um, so yes, you may be ready to take action, but wow, the hanged man is here because we have the two of swords in reverse. You don't know how to take action, but there is something here that you, I mean, uh, somebody's in love. Okay. <laughs> Somebody is very much in love. 
um, uh, but they may be isolating themselves right now. That could be from friends and family, um, outside influences, or they just could be isolating themselves from this person that they want to reach out to, that they want to express their love to. Um, but the situation here is like the two of swords, but the two of swords is, it, yeah, is negatively aspected in this sense. Um, and for the most part, this is a blockage. Um, someone doesn't want, you, you, someone doesn't necessarily want to see something. There may be something that needs to be changed in order for this King of Cups to move forward. And that might be a really hard decision to make. And so they're kind of, they may be refusing to look at it a little bit. They may have trouble looking at it because it could be very, very painful. But the Two of Swords here is not necessarily talking about a choice between two people. It's just, a, it's talking about indecision on how to move forward, okay? And, and honestly, I want to say for the most part, th I mean, there are some of, the, there are some, that this is speak referring to in which you know there's something that they don't want to look at, but for the most part, this is this is indecision. This is not knowing how to move forward. If it were positively aspected, to me, this would say like if it was upright to me, like this is saying this one, this someone is is knows knows what they need to do. They're just you, you know they're putting it together on how to actually go about it. They're trying. They're planning that next step. They're really just being very careful and cautious in how they take this next move. But when it's reversed here, I'm seeing I'm seeing confusion, um, lack of confidence, also lack of self confidence in order to move forward. Um, like not really knowing what to do about it. But again, the sun is shining, and I'm gonna say this: no matter what comes out in this reading for you, Libra. Um, it, even if it seems bad on the surface, we have the the sun, the best card, the most, I'm sorry, not the best, but the most positive card in the deck is crowning this whole reading right now, okay? So the sun is shining on everything. So have faith because everything is beautiful right now. We have, look at that, the king of wands in reverse. And we have the four of wands in reverse. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the theme of this of this reading is illumination, okay? Someone is being, has been shown or is in the process of seeing how King of Wands energy in reverse has led to an unstable foundation um, in some way. This could be spiritually, this could be physically, it could be mentally, it could be emotionally, it could be socially, it could be, it really could be anything. But um, in for the most part, it's something that someone, I'm picking up that someone is pretty passionate about because the wands are passion. And also for the most part, it's spiritual because the um, wands also speaks to spiritual reality. Somebody was acting, was going around being manipulative, but being manipulative just to get what they want, regardless of what, how it affected other people, but also regardless of how it affected themselves because they were so focused on how, uh, on what they wanted and getting what they wanted that they didn't see how this was a detriment to them. And that's where the four of wands comes in, in reverse, because it was a detriment to them because, um, spiritually they were just draining themselves. They were putting themselves in situations that drained them, that hurt them, that that stole their power and, and all of that. Uh, to be quite honest, pick, <laughs> on the energy that I'm picking up from that, I don't know how this person moved forward or survived because I'm just picking up that they were just, they were just throwing all their energy at everything that they could and manipulating the situation and playing games with people and, and, and mind games and love games and just all in order to just get what they wanted. I don't, I don't know how they didn't burn out. Maybe they did burn out a few times. I don't know. But even, even though that sounds kind of negative, but I'm going to say this again, Libra, the sun is shining. Okay. So this is all about, this isn't, it's not that, you know, this person or you are still actively doing this. They may, it may look like they're doing this on the surface, but either way, things are being illuminated right now. Okay. And the, and things are being illuminated from a place of love and emotion. Yes. Moving forward. We have the knight of, I'm sorry, not the knight, the page of wands with 
Ah, the Five of Swords in reverse. So here's the deal, guys. We have a level up happening, either for you, Libra, or someone else that is a, a, that you're associated with, that um, maybe someone that you're cross-watching for, a love interest. I'm definitely going to say that this is heavily related to love because we have the King of Cups here in the overall energy. Um, but someone is leveling up. And, okay, we're talk if we're talking Twin Flames, we're talking about the Divine Masculine here. If not twin flames, we're talking about someone that identifies with masculine energy. And in, in even if it's even if it is a twin flame journey or not, um, they don't have to be a man physically to identify with masculine energy. They could very well be a, a a woman physically. Okay, but a new level of spiritual reality is taking place. Ding dong, ding dong. The witch is dead with this King of Swords. I'm sorry, King of Wands in reverse. And now we have the Page of Wands coming forward because of an awareness of twisted masculine energy. The Five of Swords in reverse. Um, self defeating uh, situations. Uh, uh, extreme egotism. Extreme aggressiveness. Combatism. Um, just wanting to fight everyone at every turn. Just wanting to win. Wanting to one up. Just wanting. Just wanting to win. 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 Win at all costs. Yeah, that's being put to rest because it's being illuminated just how dangerous and destructive that is, and not just for themselves, but for everyone around them. Okay. And this is happening, and it's not like this is happening from like a physical point of view. No, this is on a deep spiritual level. So this is like lifelong changes that are happening here. Excellent. Excellent. Moving forward, we have the Seven of Pentacles with, ah, the Magician. Good on you, Libra. Like, I do feel like this is, I'm really speaking... For the most part, I'm speaking to Libra energy, but this could also be someone that is surrounding you. So if it's not the Libran that's doing this, whoever we're talking about here, good on you. Because you are taking on the, the uh, energy of the magician, okay? The magician comes right after the fool in the major arcana. The magician understands the laws of the universe and knows how to manipulate the laws of the universe in order to get what they want. Now, when I say manipulate here, I'm not speaking of it in a negative sense, because if the magician is is um, is reversed or negatively aspected, then yes, we're talking about very manipulative energy. The same type of energy that you would, the same type of manipulative energy that you find with the king of wands in reverse, okay? But here it's upright. So again, we, we have, someone is changing big time, okay? And, it, and what's happening right now is um, whoever is taking on the energy of the magician is using past experiences here with the seven of pentacles as a guide in how to proceed forward. What are these fruits of this harvest that I am, I am receiving right now? What do they taste like? Are they sweet? Are they bitter? Are they rotten on the vine? Are, uh, are, do, are, they, are they plentiful? Okay, and at the same time, they're also asking themselves, okay, well, what do I want to plant for the next harvest? Harvest, And how do I optimize my harvest once it's ready to harvest? <laughs> yeah. And so the, they're using, so Libra, I mean, this is, this is prime territory for you as an air sign. And, and, and you know, you're the, you're the one, the balancing the scales here. Um, you really have an advantage because this is kind of your thing, isn't it? So you're, I would, if, if Libra, you're the one that we're speaking to here, I would say really tap into your Libran abilities and um, get the best that you can out of it, okay? Because you're really in a period right now, and this is why the hanged man is actually so important. You're in a period right now where you can really benefit from understanding the past and how you've reached a certain, where how you reached the situation or the, the position that you currently find yourself in, but not necessarily that you find yourself in, that you have leveled up from, okay? Really take the experiences of your past to propel you forward in a much better way. Moving forward, we have, hey, the Ace of Swords with, ah, the Fool in Reverse. Now, uh, in relation to the Ace of Swords, I do like the Fool in Reverse um, because this is saying to me that someone had an epiphany. This is probably you, Libra. It could be the other person. But someone had an epiphany and is no longer acting in foolish ways. 
is no longer taking that taking on the energy of the king of wands in reverse is no longer taking on the energy of the five of swords or twists in masculine energy okay they're not and it's like they're not blindly jumping off the cliff because I'm hearing that's because that's what is expected of them. No, 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 no. If they're going to take on the energy of the fool and jump off this cliff, they're doing it because they want to, because they feel confident in themselves. They feel confident in the direction that they want to take. Okay? Even though they're leaping into the unknown, all right? Even though they're leaping into the unknown, they still have the confidence that, number one, the universe will catch them. And number two, they know a little more about themselves to want to take this leap so that they can experience something new, right? Moving forward, we have aw, the lovers with the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles. So here we go. Um, it could be that a choice has been made between two uh, potential partners. There, but the lovers is about choices being made, okay? So, um, and you could be dealing with a Gemini here. So there's another air sign for you um, because the lovers is the Gemini card. But it could also have been a choice of to, like I was saying before here with the fool in reverse and the ace of swords, not taking a leap of faith because it's what's expected of you or it's what you're told you know, you should do, but um, choosing your own opinion, your own heart, your own desires in order to move forward. And you're moving forward and whoever, and if we're talking about, if we're talking about someone that has chosen um, between a love relationship, chosen one relationship over another, uh, they're moving pretty slow because the Knight of Pentacles is the slow move, slowest moving knight in the deck. But that makes perfect sense because this person is in a hanged man situation, okay? They've isolated themselves. They're trying to get, and they're trying to gain enlightenment. So it may even be that they have not made this choice yet and they're in this energy of the hanged man so that they can make this choice. But again, they're moving pretty slow, okay? Moving forward, we have the moon. Okay, look at that. We've got counterparts. We've got the sun and we've got the moon with the empress Aww. all right so what is this saying this is saying that um things are not what they seem in relation like if we're talking twin flames um because and we very well could be because we have the king of wands here which symbolizes the divine masculine um we have the lovers here which symbolizes a deep soulmate relationship when it when it symbolizes a relationship um, we have counterparts in the sun and the moon, and I have, I do consider this to be my twin flame deck because um, because of the way that the sun and the moon are depicted. We have a masculine figure here for the sun, which in which the sun does um, does uh, is associated with masculine energy, and then we have a feminine um, a figure here in the moon, and the moon does sim does uh, symbolize feminine energy, and when I first started using this deck. I was doing the readings, the weekly readings for the Twin Flames, and I had fit, and I I did the Divine Feminine first, and I was moving in as I was moving into the Divine Masculine, I was just doing a free shuffle, and the Sun and the Moon popped out. As I was moving from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine, okay, so to me that was a sign of balance between uh, um, masculine and feminine, and so from there on, I have considered this to be my Twin Flame deck. So we have counterparts in the Sun and the Moon. And in relation to this reading, the sun is symbolizing the divine masculine. Now, if this is resonating with you, your divine masculine could be a Libran, could also have Libra as their moon rising or Venus, or could have a heavy Libra um, influence in their chart. And the divine feminine here is represented by the empress. So when it comes to the moon with the divine, fe with the empress, what's happening in the sense of a twin flame relationship is that all is not what it seems. Okay, you may feel like all is lost because of past actions, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, the divine feminine in this situation may be hiding from you, may be, may have um, fallen into a period of secrecy, of maybe hiding her emotions. Um, but also what's coming through with these two cards, because the moon also talks about intuition. So um, if we are talking twin flames, 
and the divine masculine is kind of seeing this shade around his divine feminine, understand that if you tap into your intuition, your intuition will help you understand what's really going on, will help you become confident in the fact that all is not necessarily what it seems. If we're not talking uh, twin flame relationships, the message here is um, you're working on manifesting something, either you, Libra, or this other person. Um, and so, well, no, this is for Librans that are, that yes, um, you're working on manifesting something because you have found yourself, you know, you've come to a new understanding of who you truly are or a, 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 a deeper understanding of who you truly are. And as you're manifesting things, there's a lot of illusion. You don't really know what's coming through. You don't really know what's going to happen. And that's because you're in the beginning stages of this manifestation. But understand that you have very fertile energy around you. Okay, the Empress also speaks of fertility, uh, nurturance, the Divine Mother, um, Gaia even in many cases, or the Earth. So you have a very fertile environment around you. Even though you may not be able to see it or really comprehend it, you have this environment around you. So just stay focused on what you want. Um, allow it to come forward. The Empress also is someone, the, the Empress is uh, talks about unconditional love. The Empress can be um, a detriment sometimes because she is not controlling of her children, of what she gives birth to. She just lets them be what they are, who they are, for who they are, and just lets them run around and do their own thing and, you know, just loves them unconditionally. So that's a message for you also, Libra, in this moment of um, manifesting here with the magician. Release, or that's also what the moon is saying. You don't need to know how, when, or why it's going to come forward for you, how what, how it's going to manifest for you, when it's going to manifest for you, what it's going to look like, what it's going to smell like, taste like, how it's going to act when it's manifested, if it's, you know what I mean? Um, all you need to focus on is the fact that you're, tr that you know what you're trying to manifest and you're working with the laws of the universe in order to manifest this, okay? Be open, like the Empress. Be open to however it is that comes forward and know that whatever comes forward when the time is right is exactly what you were looking for on an energetic level. Even though at first it may not seem like it, once you get to the nitty gritty of it, nitty gritty of it you're like, oh, actually this is what I was asking for. This is what I was manifesting. Yeah. Moving forward, we have the King of Swords. So here you are also Libra with the King of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So, um, interesting. I'm seeing a balance for you, Libra. Um, and this is, this is actually, this is a very good balance to have. Be and it's a balance between masculine and feminine energy. Okay. You could, uh, now, if you're on a twin flame journey, this is very, very important for you because, um, union will not be able to manifest unless you are balanced within yourself, balanced and whole within yourself between masculine and feminine energy. If you're not on a twin flame journey, it doesn't matter because this is very good too, okay? But either way here you have the mind is balanced with masculine energy. The mind, and it's especially in this moment of manifestation, masculine energy is the go-getter, is the doer, okay? Um, is the action taker. And in order to manifest anything, it must first start in the mind. So we have the King of Swords here representing your mental atmosphere. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here representing your physical representation, your physical atmosphere. And so this is another message of nurturance that the, the Empress was bringing forward for you. Um, the, the Queen of Pentacles is a little more rigid than the Empress. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is, can be very stern. Um, she's, she, don't get me wrong, she's extremely loving. She's very compassionate. Um, she's a, a, a great wife and mother. Um, and she's very passionate about seeing her loved ones succeed in a material sense, okay? So as you're in this moment of manifestation, this is balance here for you that is helping, that is really helping you bring forward that which you desire. The message here is also just to be to keep an open heart, okay? We understand, from a physical point of view, we understand that things have, things 
are done in a certain way because it gives us a certain result or it ensures safety and um, good health and all that. But still be as kind and compassionate as possible. Okay. And be as open to as many different expressions of what it is you're trying to manifest as possible. Yes. Finally, we have the Hierophant. So we could be talking about a Taurus here with ooh, strength. We could also be talking about a Leo here. The strength is in reverse, though. Um, hmm. Give me a moment, please. I'm just channeling here. So the Hierophant, I've come to understand, is for me, it represents, um, it can represent your higher self in the fact that it's the five, it's the fifth card of the major arcana. And our higher selves are of the fifth dimension. So oftentimes when I come across the Hierophant, it's talking about, um, um, you know, communicating with your higher self. It can, the Hierophant also talks about marriage sometimes, it, or if not marriage, uh, a very strong commitment in some sort of relationship. It can also talk about conformity and convention and um, religion, um, societal uh, conformity, societal constructs. What I'm getting here is, um, and strength is in reverse. This is a very interesting combination. Because I'm getting a positive, what I'm, what I'm really feeling is like someone is communicating with their higher self in some cases. And, and then also on top of that, someone is being faced with the convention of society. And that is, and it's like, I'm, I'm feeling a conflicting message here, like a message of strength from the higher self, but then a message of conformity from the outside world. And that's causing strength here to be reversed because it's like conflicting. It's like you don't know, someone doesn't know really how to proceed, doesn't know if they have the strength to maybe stand up to the the um, the the system, the man, you know what I mean? And that also is where the Two of Swords is coming in because there's an indecisiveness here on how to move forward and how to approach a situation. And so it's resulting in a moment of, of um, self-imposed isolation with the hanged man. But understand, even though strength is here, and strength not only talks about physical strength, but emotional strength and, men and mental strength, it also talks about abundance, okay? So understand that even though it's reversed, strength is here. It's just being blocked because of confusion, maybe. Oops, now it's reversed. Um, oh, wait, here. This is, what, this is strength upright. Yeah, you saw that. And so now it's reversed, but it's, it's just being blocked, that's all. Strength and abundance are at your disposal, okay? All right, Libra. Well, there it is. I thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful for you, and I look forward to connecting with you guys for the first half of June. Yes, we are almost halfway through the year. How crazy is that? <laughs> All right, guys. Much love. Take care, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.